brother. Marshall, last time we talked to you was about Mike not being here. How yeah. uh, fun was that to have him back today and, and have that matchup? Great competition. Like I said, you know, he made me better. I make him better, and that's what I need out here. Um, just him being the best, one of the best receivers in the league. You know, I need that competition every day to make, you know, to raise my level of play. And uh, I'm just glad he's back. Glad he got paid, and I'm glad he's back out here. Yeah, what was your reaction to, you know, seeing the numbers and hearing the deal that he got? Yeah, hey, pay that man. You know, he deserves it. And I, and, I, and I love it, you know, just like him getting that, you know, I'm happy. I'm the happiest man on the earth. Uh, just seeing my, my friends, uh, you know, get paid like that, get them blessings. You know, and I love seeing that, and, you know, everything on him this year, you know. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is his intensity kind of infectious, not only for you, but for just everybody, just, you know, yeah. for the DBs and for the receivers? Yeah, it's competition, here. you know, he bring a certain level of competitiveness to the, to both sides. You know, he's going to he gonna raise the level of play of his receivers, too. That's with him. You know, he's going to take them up to his level. And, you know, the same with us. So uh, just him being out there, you know, it helps both sides of the ball. How much pride does this defense take in a period like that last one you had where, you guys held Drew Brees 0 5 in, the, in those in those plays. Right. Uh, they they was getting us the, the, uh, the first couple periods. They was catching everything. So we all kind of got like you know we got we got switched. We got to change it up. And that's when we went on five with the first group. And it's it just that like it's not about how you start. It's how you finish. You know we finished great. And you know we got the job done against Drew. But you know we got a lot of a lot of days left in camp. A lot of practices left, so we're just going to keep raising our level of play. Because you guys you know, didn't lose a lot of personnel from this defense and you played with each other for a couple of years, how much faster do you think you guys do correct mistakes and can come together and overcome things? Uh, I just we, We've been with each other for three years now, everybody, so we know we know what we have to do. And when somebody's down, we know we have to get up, you know, come on, let, let's pick it up. You know, we, we're comfortable enough with each other now that we know that we can talk to each other any kind of way, you know, it's gonna, and nobody take it personal, you know, and they just gonna level, raise their level of play. So, uh, it's just, I'm, I'm glad, you know, we've been together so long, so, you know, there's no egos involved, and, you know, uh, oh, he trying to play me, none of that type of stuff, it's just all love, and everybody know that. Have you uh, seen yourself just in this third season, this third training camp, taking more of that leadership role, just in terms of getting the young guys kind of, you know, figured out and, and, and where they're supposed to be at? And, yeah. and since you know the system now, you're kind of partaking your knowledge to them. Right, right. It's, uh, definitely because I'm a kind of a, a young veteran, I guess, because I've been in the system three years. And you know, the young guys coming in, I just give, you know, you know be on top of this and you know, do this. Like, I just try to keep them up. You know, it's hard being a rookie. I was a rookie, and I know how hard it is. So you know, I just try to tell them, like, you know, just when the coach is coaching, just li just listen. Just listen to what they're telling you because, you know, they're telling you the right thing. So just listen. Don't 